Hello. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello. My name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the ATI T study manual, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 131. The fix this thing on the blackboard. This was yesterday's 131. We are on page 81 and we're going to do the practice problems that you see at the bottom of page 81. It is important that you have the book in front of you so that you are able to read the problem yourself. Here's what the problem tells us. By the way, if you're interested in getting some more practice and getting better prepared for the exam, you will find that we have already solved every single math problem that appeared in the previous edition, the fifth edition that I'm holding in my hand here. And you will find the solutions to the problems that appeared in the fifth editions from day number 1 through 80. Just type in T's day 1 or whichever day you want, day 1 through 80. There are no videos from day 81 through 100. They do not exist. In, in addition to that, if you want to improve your math skill even further, there is another series that you might be, uh, might be interested in availing yourself which is simply basic math, day 1 through 100. Just type in basic math, day 1, it will pop right up. So let's read the problem together here. It says, Susan, not Susus, Susan. Susan starts, Susan starts collecting cards. She's going to collect postcards. We are told that she starts with seven cards. She has seven cards to begin with. After that, Every week, every week she adds three more to her collections. So she begins her uh, collection of uh, postcards. She has seven to start out with. She had, it, had them from before. And then after that she said, I'm going to collect three every week. Every week I'm going to collect three more. I'm going to add three more to my collections. The question is, my collection rather, not collections. Uh, the question here is, how many weeks before she has more than 30 cards? How many weeks does she need to do this pro uh, do the process? before she is a proud owner of 30 postcards. Let's find out, shall we? Here they want us to come up with the inequality, the proper inequality. That's hence, hence the topic here. The topic that we're dealing with is expressions, equations, and inequalities. Before we worry about whether it's an equation or inequality, we have to first come up with the right expressions, the unknown part here. So let's define our variable. And here's what's going on. Here's the solution. I'm gonna build it up. We're going to build it up slowly so that we have easier time. Yes. So this is how it goes. At the end of at the end of the first week, she has how many cards you suppose that she has at the end of first week? Remember, she began with seven cards. That's the starting point. So she had seven cards to start out with. That's that's fixed. At the end of the first week, she's going to add three more to her collection. So she's going to have seven plus three. That's the end of the first week. This way, that's, that one represents the week, the number of weeks. At the end of second week, at the end of second week, she will have she will have how many cards? Well, she had seven cards to start out with, and then she adds three cards at the end of first week, three more cards at the end of second week, which means three times two. That's, that's how many cards she has at the end of second week. At the end of at the end of third week. She will have how many cards? Again, seven cards that you begin with plus three times three. At the end of first week, she has three, three more cards to her collection. At the end of second week, she has six more cards to her collection. At the end of third week, she'll have nine more cards to her collection. And nine is represented here as three times three, three times the number of weeks that have lapsed. At the end of so this, this process continues. We don't know how many weeks she has to continue, but at the end of 
some number of weeks. We don't know how many number of weeks. At the end of some number of weeks, that's our unknown. Let's give this unknown a name. What do you want to call it? What do you want to represent this unknown with? I, I think the logical thing to do here, because it's the number of weeks that we're dealing with, because it's the number of weeks that we're dealing with, I think the logical thing would be to say W weeks. At the end of W weeks, W is our unknown. You could have called it, we could have called it X weeks, but everything in algebra does not need to be X. Do you understand? Okay. People have the tendency to think that everything that is unknown in the context of algebra must be represented with the letter X. That is not the case. If you did use W to represent the number of weeks, nobody's going to knock on your door at the 3 in the morning to come and get you. Do you understand? So at the end of W weeks, the question is, how many cars will she have? Well, she will have, she will have 7 cars that she began with plus the 3 times the W. There you go. That is the right expression. Now it's written here as 3 3 times the W, we wrote it here as 3 times the W. What purpose do parentheses serve in the, in the context of mathematics? What purpose do these parentheses serve? They serve the purpose of separating things so that it's easier to look at it, look at it with our eyes, easy on the eyes to see it's 3 times, 3 times W here. But 3 times W can be written many different ways in, in, in the language of algebra. There's, look, there is 3, instead of doing 3 times W, let's do 3 times 2. Well, actually, 3 times 2 would be difficult. 3 times w can be written as 3 times w, which is the most most common, most uh, most straightforward way. We can write this as 3 times the w, or we can simply say 3w. Now, this part, the last part, we could not have done if we were dealing with numerical value, which is why I stopped myself. We, if we're dealing with 3 times 7, we can write 3 times 7 as like this. Three that's 3 times 7. We can write 3 times 7 as... 3 times 7 like that, but of course we cannot simply write like that, but that's 37, that's not 3 times 7. It doesn't work that way, it only works when it's an unknown quantity, when it's a, when it's a variable, not when uh, numerical values. Do you understand? So that's, that's our expression. Now it says, how many weeks does she need to collect before she has more than 30 cards, before she has more than 30 cards? So this quantity that she has, that we have arrived at, this quantity, this quantity represents the number of cards that she will have in her collection at the end of W weeks. And the question is, how many weeks? What's the what's the magic number for W here so that this quantity is more than 30? Let's do it on the top. Let's continue on the top. How many weeks does she need to collect before the number of cards that she has? in her collection, which is this part right here, 7 plus 3w is more than 30. Voila, we are done. That's it. That's the expression. This quantity right here, this quantity right here has to be more than 30. That's it. We are done. As far as the exam is concerned, as far as the fees con is concerned, you're done. Because they don't actually ask us to figure out the value of w. They don't, they're not asking us to solve for W, they just want the expression, rather the, the inequality, and inequality is this. But first we have to start out with the expression, we have the expression here which represents the number of cards that she will have at the end of W weeks. Once we have the right expressions, once we know that we have the right expression, then we have to decide are, are we dealing with an equation or an inequality. The answer here is we are dealing with an inequality because the question was how many weeks does she need to collect before she has more, not equal to 30 cards. They're not, they're not saying how many weeks have to go before she has exactly 30 cards. They're saying how many weeks does she need to collect before she has more than 30 cards in her collections. More than 30 cards. That's what, that's what that is. More than, greater than. The book does not ask us to solve for the W, but we're going to solve for it anyway. Just for the hell of it. Just for learning purposes. Shall we? Let's solve for it. Shall we? It'll be interesting. We have a positive 7 here. That's the, that's the positive 7 here. We want to get rid of it. Let's subtract 7 from both sides. When we subtract 7 from both sides, now this positive 7 and the negative 7, they will kill each other. That was the whole point. This 3w is simply going to come down. And 30 minus 7 is 23. And I don't want to put, keep putting in the same color, so now we're going to put the greater as the sign. We want, so this says, this says that 3 times the number of weeks 
is greater than 23, we're not interested in 3 times w, we want to find out what w is. How many weeks? Let's divide both sides by 3. Watch what happens. Again, we need more room, so I'm going to erase some more. Just excuse me just for a second. Almost done. So now, this 3 from the top and the 3 from the bottom, they cancel out. And W has to be greater than this quantity right here. How much is that quantity? Let's find out, shall we? 20 thirds, 23 thirds, 23 thirds is same as 21 thirds and another 2 thirds. Makes perfect sense. If you have 23 thirds, then 23 thirds must be the sum of 21 thirds and other 2 thirds. Well, 21 thirds, 21 divided by 3, we know it's 7. So it turns out the number of weeks that she needs to collect the cars has to be more than 7 and 2 thirds weeks. 7 and 2 thirds week. But obviously, we can't, we can't go by the 2 thirds of the week, it has to be a whole week. So the conclusion here is that it's going to take her more than 7 weeks to collect 30 cars. The conclusion here is what this tells us is that she's going to take, it's going to take her, it's going to take her more than, you see, more, more than seven weeks to collect 30 cards. Why more than seven weeks? Because it is seven and two thirds. It's more than seven weeks. At the end, at the end of the eighth week, watch what happens. At the end of the eighth week, at the end of the eighth week, which is what we started out with in the beginning, at the end of the eighth week, she will have. Well, how many cars will she have? This is how we started out in the beginning when we were setting it up. Well, at the end of the eighth week, she will have the seven cards that she began with plus three times the eight because every week she adds three more cards to her collection. Three times eight is 24. 24 plus seven is 31. What do you know? By golly. If she wanted, if she wanted to have, if she wanted to have more than 30 cards, then 31 is indeed more than 30 cards. 31 is the least amount of cards, least number of cards rather that she can have and still say that I have more than 30 cards. And that's going to take place at the end of the eighth week. The number of weeks she needs to collect has to be more than seven and two third weeks, which means she has to have, she has to be collecting for at least, at least eight weeks. If she has been collecting for nine weeks or 10 weeks or 2000 weeks, then obviously she's going to have a hell of a lot more than 30 cards but she must collect for the minimum of eight weeks because at the end of the eight weeks is when she will have the 31st cards in her collection and it's only then, it is only then that she can say, claim that I have now more than 30 cards. Do you understand? But this all of this thing that we did here which is a solution to solve for the W was not required for the exam. As I said, we just did it for the hell of it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I know.